Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. The next series of episodes will take you around Warsaw, looking at what is perhaps the most captivating and surprising feature of Poland today. That is the Warsaw skyline. Warsaw has the sixth highest skyline in Europe. That's after Moscow, Paris, London, Istanbul, and Frankfurt. The Warsaw Center, under construction now, promises to be 310 meters, and at that height, the tallest skyscraper outside of Moscow in Europe. Tall buildings are nothing new for Warsaw, surprisingly enough. Not a lot of people know that the tallest skyscraper in Central Europe was in Warsaw in about 1910. That's the radio tower. And then there was the Prudential Insurance Building, now the Warsaw or the Warsaw Hotel. So Warsaw skyline has in recent years become one of the most impressive in Europe. And it's continuing to rise. The Warsaw Tower will be marginally higher at 310 meters than the Shard in London. So we are going to go from the old to the new over the next series of episodes. And we'll also take a trip around the Palace of Culture. That iconic landmark, which was a present from the Soviet Union to the people of Warsaw. Actually more like an offer you couldn't refuse. So sit back and come along. We'll try to show you something constructive, entertaining, and informative. I suppose we can build on that. So it's Poland Daily, and we're looking at the Warsaw skyline. Come along. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. In this series of episodes, we're going to be going around Warsaw and looking at some of the uh, epic numbers in its skyline. That is the most prominent buildings, because Warsaw it has uh, built its skyline from nothing in 1945 to be the fifth tallest skyline in Europe now. That's after London and Paris and uh, uh, Frankfurt and Moscow. Moscow being uh, uh, the city with the most skyscrapers in Europe. So today, and in this series of episodes, we're going to be taking you around on a beautiful sunny day and looking at some of these buildings and talking about them. I'll be joined later by Arthur Gorniewski, uh, who will be talking with me and helping us to uh, uh, tell the stories of these buildings and of Warsaw's uh, reconstruction after World War II and after 1989 in the post-communism uh, era. So behind me right now is uh, the first skyscraper in Warsaw. That's right. It's now, it's known as the radio building now for WNET. And uh, this building was built in the early part of the 20th century and managed to somehow survive, not totally intact. It was, uh, it was hit a lot uh, during World War II, but it's managed to survive uh, to this day through reconstruction. Also, you'll notice at the top the symbol for the Warsaw Uprising. It's an interesting building. We'll be talking more about it in just a few seconds after this short break, so stay with us. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Poland Daily Travel. I am joined by the inimitable, which is easy for me to say, Arthur Gorniewski. Here we are in beautiful... Hi, Arthur. Morning. And here we are in beautiful... Morning. In beautiful downtown Warsaw. There's no city quite like it. And uh, today we will be looking at its uh, phenomenal and surprising skyline, including what? The uh, tallest building in Europe. Including all the tallest buildings in Warsaw, which are becoming And the tallest also, building in Europe, which will be... Which is on the way. We on also way. have yeah. a European highest residential building. Uh, but let's start from the beginning. Let's what start from uh, 1906, and they finished it in 1908. Right. Uh, when they constructed this building, it was like, look, we have a medieval castle in the city center. Right. Look, it's not a regular kind of building that we know yeah. today. It's very irregular one. Uh, before World War II, there were battlements on the top, so to make it look like real medieval uh, castle tower. Battlements? Uh, where? On the very top? On the very top. Okay, so it was like a, a motif that they put at the very top, which was, of course, destroyed. 
during the war, but go ahead. Only damaged. Only damaged. The whole building was not knocked down, but it was substantially damaged, right? Both of them that we would like to present to our guests today the are the old buildings, including Pasta. We call it Pasta because of its, um, we, call, we can call it a radio station. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, Swedish company before World War I constructed it like this, and then in between World War I and World War II, that was its usage exactly. And then during Warsaw Uprising 1944, on 20th of August, our Polish troops uh, managed to conquer this building and take over the radio station, which was not damaged by Nazi German troops. And that was one of the very few successes during World War II when it comes to Polish underground army. And that's why we can see Polish flag over there and the symbol of Polish resistance, including P letter and an anchor below. P letter standing for Poland. Yeah, the anchor. And is the anchor. Underneath, right? It's Correct. The motif on the top. Of the looks building. like W. Symbol, yeah, it looks like W. Symbol of the war We want to stay in here just as a ship wants to stay in one place. Right. And Poland wants to stay in here celebrating our independence next to that building and also showing it first high, really high building in Warsaw, 51 yeah. meters. Yeah. We were calling it Niebotyk. Niebo, sky. Tick, like touch. Even heaven, right? Or heaven touch. Yeah, yeah. So that was the first of such buildings, uh, first in Poland, and one of the first of such solid con concrete constructions in Europe, still there. Yeah, it's one of the first in Europe, too. So uh, how many stories is it? There About are 25? There are four lower stores at yeah. the bottom, yeah. and then eight higher ones. Yeah. So as you but can see... big high ceilings, so Correct. it's not your normal... It's about, uh, and, well, it's not that tall in today's, uh, about 10 stories, 12 stories. 12, right? exactly. Yeah, 12. So, uh, but some of those are higher, exactly. higher ceilings, particularly at the bottom, right? Yes. But it was substantially damaged because it was the headquarters of the communications for the Home Army during the Warsaw Uprising. But still, the, yeah. the um, concrete skeleton is original. It stayed. It stayed, not even one floor collapsed, Will. Not even one floor, despite all the fires and everything else, because it was substantially bombed, wasn't Correct. it? Correct. That, that just shows the strength of these kinds of buildings. Perhaps they should have flown a plane into it. Uh-uh. 9-11 jokes. So uh, what else are we going to see today? When we, when we go on from here, we're going to go right around the center, right? During next series of episodes, we are going to present uh, how Warsaw has been growing and growing till the moment when we become European highest capital next year. And High, how highest capital? What do you mean by that? Um, I mean having what, European the, highest skyscraper. Europe's, Europe's highest skyscraper. Correct. Which will be how, 310 meters. So that's 51. The, yeah. So imagine six of them, one six on each other. Them. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. You'll be so able. if you look at this, it, I mean, you know, we'll have a have the shot of the of the full building and imagine six of those. Exactly. And that's how tall it's going to be, right? And this is yeah. where you will have your dinner once upon a time. Maybe I will invite you for a coffee what, and the, we'll take a look to at the, the top of the new building. Exactly. Sure, on why two, not? Are they going to have a restaurant on there? On 220th meter, there will be a viewing terrace with a restaurant over there. So it's highest possible dining in Europe available next year. Wow. And what's going to be on the top? And on the top, there are going to be antennas, Will. It's just going to be antennas. So yes. The, the, there will be communications at the very top of it. Yes, right? but till yeah. 300 meter, there will be office area, so uh, uh, you can have your uh, a TV station, um, uh, Republika Poland Daily travel office right there. You're going to have it there? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I think the rent could be pretty high. But uh, maybe we can make a deal. But uh, uh, the point is that, that it all started with the, the upward building in Warsaw, started with this building. This building at the time was a substantial skyscraper. In 1910, it was a substantial skyscraper uh, at the beginning of the 20th century Correct. in Europe, exactly. not just in Poland. That was tall for a building in Europe. And now, having had one of the first skyscrapers, Warsaw will have the tallest skyscraper. But we have to say, we have to omit Russia from this equation because in Moscow and in St. Petersburg, they have some pretty tall buildings, don't they? 
Well, they, they do at the moment. Uh, well, if we calculate Russia as a part of Europe, then they have European highest buildings that are about 500 meters. When it comes to European Union, it's the Shard, which has 309.2 meters. And so uh, this new building in Warsaw is going to be just a little taller. 80 centimeters. They did it on purpose, yeah. 80 centimeters, which yeah. really matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they just build an extra floor when you're already building that much? There you go. To, to, obviously, they build that because they want it to be taller than the Shard. I mean, you know, just this, this small amount bigger. Okay, stay with us. We'll be back with more exciting <laughs> stuff from Warsaw on a beautiful day in uh, late summer. We're going to be going around and uh, looking at the Warsaw skyline uh, or the buildings that make up that Warsaw skyline. Most of them built within the last, uh, completed the, within the last 15, 10, 15 years. And uh, uh, if you didn't know this about Warsaw, the fifth largest, uh, tallest skyline uh, in Europe at this point, soon to be much taller. And there's, there's a slate of a lot of, uh, of new buildings, but we'll talk about that more. Not just the tallest building, but there are a lot of buildings that are going to be, uh, going to make you go to get taller. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> a lot of, it's my dream ever since. I said tall and you went like this, you know. I, it's my dream ever since I was little, so nothing changed. Well, to be taller. <laughs> yeah, my dream was always, no, no, to be like like Napoleon. You know, half of yeah. my life I was playing basketball. You were? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do the other half? Swimming. Swimming, okay. I used to play basketball. I have to do some one-on-one sometime. Okay. What do you think? Where's the ball? I don't know. Let's go find it. You know, small, heavy guy is like a tank. Call me Rosomax since that moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a hook shot like that. Okay, stay I have with a us. hook block like that. You have a hook block? Really? <laughs> yeah, you need a stepladder. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Good one. Stay with us. Poland daily travel with me and Arthur. Come on, Arthur, let's go. Yeah. Let's go to the top floor using the stairs.